Hello and thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got a second in the four beers from Cloudwater. This is part of their birthday, eight, eight years, there we go. Super happy birthday then, extra juicy pale. This one's clocking in at 5.3% ABV. Um, again, it's not actually telling you what hops are in this beer. So let me just um, um, find out here. I should have done this before starting the review. Apologies. Cloud water. And then we'll have a look. So let's crack it open then. A 440 mil can then. Um, canned on the 30th of January of 2023. Best before the end of 30th of July. Um, I'm assuming this is goal number zero, uh, 1441. Um, yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I do like it. It's quite nice and, and bright looking can there. Hoppier, juicier, hazier. There we go. Let's crack this beer open then. See what we get out of this one. Had this a couple of times on cask last weekend at the Royston in, in Broadstairs, as I mentioned with the first beer. A happy birthday so do go and check that out if you haven't seen that one where i also purchased all of the cans so um we're actually starting to get sport for choice um my neck of the woods a bit of an aggressive pour there a finger and a half of white frothy head there's the uh, hashtag proper glassware um Let's see if I can find out what hops are in this one for you. Um, it's not really, that's not telling me. It's weird that they, they used to label all of their beers. Um, it's exactly the same commercial description everywhere you go, which is... It's not looking like um, I'm going to be finding out anyway. So beer in a glass, nice oranginess into the light then. Um, very dense, very um, quite dark actually, quite a dark orange, although there is a light shining above. You can get a, an idea. There's a light just above there, giving it a bit more of a colour, but it's more that sort of colour. Um, and then you change it. And it's all to do with the lighting. That's all it is. Yes, I'm over 18. I just want to nick your information if you've got any. Um, there's there's no, um, no information at all on these beers, which is a bit strange. Anyway, um, on the nose then, what have we got? Okay. So quite a little bit sweeter. Uh, like a sweet orange almost in this one. Very juicy. Yeah, like a sweet orange or something like that in that kind of lines. Mango. Maybe a touch of pineapple in there. Grapefruit. Mm, definitely more of a sweeter beer on the nose. Let's give it a try, see what it's about. So cheers, happy birthday, Cloudwater. Nice one. Mm. Definitely a sweeter beer. Not overly sweet, but um, nice mouthfeel, nice residual flavours there. A little bit sharp almost, maybe a little bit of um, lemon or lime sharpness towards the back end, just to, just to kind of break that sweetness a little bit. Very clean. 
quite zingy. It's got that kind of citrusy zing going on. But again, with that sweetness there, and that, that, there's that kind of bitter lime or lemon towards the back end. A little bit drying, getting getting towards the back of the of the mouth feel. A little bit kind of almost like hop oily, slick slickness to it. Yeah. Trying to remember it, this from cars, or you know what beers are like. It, it, it gets very kind of hazy, um, but um, that they, they were out of the two. I, I did prefer this beer on cast to the Happy Birthday, which I've just reviewed. Um, difficult to tell. Um, which I prefer out of the can, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I did. I did prefer this beer out of the two on cast. But they're both very, very good. Um, if you get the chance to try them on any kind of dispenser, where it be cask, draft, or can, um, I assume that it's on draft. I, 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 I don't know. I would have thought so, but I'd imagine cask is the, probably the rarity of the three. Um, <coughs> excuse me. A little bit of carbonation there, but a really creamy looking beer. Um, it's not got um, the mouthfeel of perhaps some of the other beers that, that Cloudwater do. Perhaps that's just the ABV. I say this is uh, 5.3, and this is a, a New England hazy or pale ale, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, a nice, easy going beer again. Um, a little bit more in the way of, I'd say, body. A little bit upper and towards the, just past the middle stage of a medium body. Um, still no hint of the ABV as, as you kind of would expect, really. You can't really get them on double IPAs these days, never mind pails. But again, very tasty, very easy drinking. Um, just fantastic stuff again from Cloudwater. So, um Super happy birthday from from Cloudwater. Then um, let me pull the rest of this can out and see what. See if it changes any. It's going to be any hazier. Doesn't like it. So yeah, there's no kind of floaties or anything like that in this, which is you know always nice, always nice. So yeah, I'm loving the label. I just wish they put what hops are in this a little bit. You know a little bit more information but that's just me um they used to on the when back in the day when when they used to bottle stuff they used to put every single bit of information um perhaps it's i don't know why, why they're not doing it but i'm sure if you really want to know you can go and find out but yeah i'd imagine citra mosaic kind of kind of deals um i'm sure there's subtle differences as well um, between this and happy birthday but um so super happy birthday then from cloud war is absolutely super and uh again let me know what you think about the four beers they brought out or if you what ones have you tried have you tried them all or just one or two um because i know not everyone gets to gets their hands on them they are you know a little bit pricey than than, than other beers of course so um I just made the most of uh, the fact that they, they turned up locally. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought them myself either. Um, so, um, at reasonable price at the Royston in Broadstairs. So, if you ever catch yourself down this neck of the woods in Broadstairs, it's just a, a walk across the road to the Royston. Do some absolutely fantastic cask. Uh, probably one of the best cask places, in certainly in my local area in Fannet. Uh, Fannet. Um, and uh, well worth a trip with Andy being a brilliant landlord as always so do check them out um, thank you for watching then let me know what you think down below if you've had this one before I think this is an absolute cracker to be honest with you see you on the next review cheers